hi everyone welcome back to my channel this feels very weird talking to a camera um i haven't uploaded in like two three weeks by the time you're probably watching this video um but for me personally i haven't filmed in like just over a month and when you get into like the habit of doing something it becomes more natural so where i haven't been filming um I just it just feels a little bit unnatural but hello <laughs> welcome back um the reasons for my absence is i feel like i've needed a bit of a break i know i only post like one video a week at best um and i'm not here for excuses but i think just doing my full-time job anyway and i was trying to fit in a uh, time with my family i've had some other stuff going on in my private life and i've just been finding it hard to just feel that sort of like motivation and picking up the camera and vlogging and talking to a camera um but yeah so my last video was my primark video so i hope you enjoyed that i am actually going to be going back to primark um in like a week's time from when i'm filming this so if i do get anything new i might film another haul of that but for the foreseeable I'm just going to film what I feel comfortable filming um, and when I do upload it will be on a Sunday because I have got myself into a routine of uploading videos on a Sunday. So that is what I'll continue to do. Um, but yeah for today's agenda this video will include me cleaning the home a bit so I've got to do some cleaning in the kitchen. Um, I need to clean the bathroom. I've got two new pieces of like equipment for the bathroom that I'm going to show with you show with you oh, see I'm very out of touch share with you what else do I need to clean the spare room's fine um most things in the kitchen are fine but I just want to go over the cupboards I like to keep on top of that I've already done the cooker hob so I'm going to be showing you that I might go for a walk later the weather isn't looking too promising it's looking very grey so we'll see but i do want to try and go for a walk and i've also got an iceland delivery coming later i haven't done a home delivery from iceland before so i might show you that as well and um, this is my new sweater from girl knows all it's saying like focus on your own path don't compare your like life journey to other people's um, and that resonates quite a bit with me because it's so easy nowadays on social media to compare like your life journey or yourself as a person to others and you know that robs you of your happiness so yes anyway I love it the only thing is I'm a bit worried when it comes to washing it I don't know if it will show up on the camera here but where like the flower prints is um, it's a little bit bobbly and I'm scared that when I wash it it's going to like wash away or disintegrate or ruin it um but i've read the tag on how to care for the uh, the sweater so but it's so cozy and so comfortable so i really love it um this has probably been the longest introduction to a video i've done so if you do want to stick around and watch it that mean the absolute world if you want to leave any comments below please do please be kind um <laughs> and please like the video as well that would mean the world to me and i think what i'm going to do first is i'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and i'm going to make myself some lunch because it's been a while since i had breakfast as well so i'm going to make a coffee and some lunch So as you would have seen, I've made myself just a normal cup of coffee. Lovely. Um, oh, I don't know what's going on with my skin at the moment. It seems to be flaring up. I've got some whole milk seeded rolls left from Aldi. The only trouble is they are like a couple of days over their date, but they should be okay as long as there's no mould. 
and then what I'm going to have is I think I'm going to slice one in half, toast it, and then I've got an avocado um, in the fridge that I'm going to mash up and put on that. And then last night I prepped myself some boiled eggs, so I think I'm going to slice those up as well and put that on it as well and that's going to be really filling and super nutritious as well because i am trying to eat a lot more healthier for my health now so um just trying to get as many vitamins in and i'm trying to eat as much protein as i can because i get hungry a lot so yeah just trying to add extra protein to my meals making sure my snacks are protein based um if they can be and yeah, I'm just trying to monitor what I'm eating really and try not to eat too much like sugary stuff because no food is bad. But as they say, everything in moderation. So yes, let me get the roll out and see if it's okay. Yeah, the roll is absolutely fine, it still smells really fresh, so I'm going to pop this in the toaster. The only thing I hate about these seeded rolls is when you cut them, um, the seeds just go everywhere. And I hate having messy work services, like it's always got to be clean, especially before I go to bed. The services have to be clean and tidy, free of crumbs. Is anyone else like that? Let me know. But yes, I'm going to pop this into the toaster, but I'm not going to press the toaster down just yet. So that's in the toaster. I'm going to get my avo out now as well. It's started to turn a little bit on that side. So I'm going to focus on the side with the stone in. Because that will be the fresher side out of the two. Just a little squeeze of this because I can't have too much citrus but it just helps with the flavouring. There we go, just a little pinch and then my partner can have the rest and can save the other half to put in like drinks or whatever. Crushed chilies. Mix that around. Only a small sort of portion but um, that's fine. So I'm going to put the toaster down now and let that roll toast. Move this to the side for a sec. And then, I will prepare that other half of avocado, obviously avoiding the brown bits. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna get my boiled eggs out. Um, I already peppered them. I love pepper and boiled eggs. Try not to add salt too much salt to my food only when seasoning um like main meals and stuff i've got a hello fresh meal tonight and i can't tell you how excited i am for it it's gonna be absolutely so tasty I just had a bit of the egg because it didn't fit on and I love boiled egg elite snack in my opinion so here we have it yum 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 I'm gonna have this now with my coffee and then I'll see if Martin wants some avocado on toast or something um, actually let me quickly show you these I'm not actually met that many calories um, for one it's 212 every Easter without fail I get these from m the extreme chocolatey hot cross buns these are amazing as a breakfast and they're actually very filling a little bit of butter or something on the top and you've got yourself a lovely breakfast oh and do you know what strawberries on the side i might actually have that for my breakfast tomorrow because i've got some fresh strawberries in the fridge i'm so excited for breakfast now because i try and plan my meals ahead but yeah gonna have my lunch and my coffee and then i'll be right back to crack on with some cleaning that lunch was delicious um so i think what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna start cleaning the kitchen because it's really bothering me i've got washing up to put away washing up to do 
things to tidy. Um, I need to put the dishwasher on. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with that. But I think I might film some of it on my phone on the time lapse frame because I get really confused of how to use time lapse frame on um, my camera. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with that and then we'll head to the bathroom. So change to the plan of action, Martin is just currently emptying out the hoover and cleaning all the filters, um, I've just put my trainers on and we're going to go for a little walk because the sun is actually coming out, as you can see it's quite bright, yeah we're going to go for a walk now whilst the weather has turned for the better and then when I come back I'll then proceed with the um, rest of the kitchen cleaning and the bathroom cleaning. I'm making the most of the sun whilst it's here in our local little cemetery. It's really peaceful. You make it sound like right weird, don't you? <laughs> no, but it's nice there, isn't it? Sitting in the local cemetery. <laughs> well, it's on our route. And there's loads of dafts and that. But it's Ooh, very nice. but it's very, very peaceful that I'll show you. Yes, I can see how it comes across weird. Thank you, Martin. Sure. But there is a Pokemon raid that we're doing here. <laughs> so, actually, it was your idea to stop here. So, yes. yeah. And we're going to continue our walk now because we've done it. Yeah. And um, the sun's going in. Oh no, it's coming out again. Oh, I need to make its mind up. Let's go. Oh, is that a Pokey stop? They've made a little Pokemon top. How cute is that? So that little walk and running errands took longer than expected and it is now nearly five o'clock. We took a little detour into Costa. I had an iced coconut latte, beautiful, with sugar-free vanilla syrup inside. Um, I didn't know we were going to have a coffee so I would have taken my um, Skinny Fuko one but oh well. Um, so yeah, I really need to get to cleaning the bathroom and the kitchen cupboards. I'm really procrastinating. Um, but I've also got to be aware that our Iceland delivery is turning up between 5 and 7. So I'm going to crack on with the kitchen sides. Um, sorry, not the sides, the cupboards, cleaning them. Got to clean the kitchen floor because that needs a good clean. And then I will venture into the bathroom. So I might put you on a little time lapse for the kitchen bit. And then, I don't know, I want to show you my new gadgets in the bathroom. So I might just film that real time. So as you would have seen, I've cleaned the kitchen cupboards. Now I'm going to show you my little cleaning tool that I picked up from the range. One sec. Ta-da! So this is the multifunction bathroom cleaning brush. It's got a telescopic handle, includes three interchangeable heads. So you looks, looks like you've got dust, microfiber, and then bristle brush. Um, so it changes over, and I'm sure you can just put the microfiber ones and that in the wash um, so I plan to use like the brush on the tiles around the bath because I'm fed up of leaning over and doing it what's it they say nowadays work smarter not harder so this was only like I think it's like seven pounds in the range um, so I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna start cleaning the bathroom so I'm just gonna give everything a little bit of a blitz I don't know why but the bathroom is like the one place that I find just the most overwhelming and tedious I think because it bathrooms get really dusty quickly I find and grime and look horrible all right so that's like a scrub daddy material that's the microfiber so I might do that at the end with some like Sephora just to freshen all the tiles up 
and here is the brush end and then here is the interchangeable telescopic handle so I'm assuming you press that to change the head or release it out so I'm clicking it in is it gonna click in yep there we go tighten it around ah and then obviously so for floors and then flatter surfaces let's get cleaning the bathroom then right this is risky business I have placed you on the sink which is a little bit damp so if my camera falls then I'm an idiot so I'm just going to take everything off from around the sides of the bath and I'm going to start with the bath tiles um, FYI I thoroughly cleaned my shower screen yesterday I actually do that when I'm in the shower because why soak yourself when you're already wet in the shower and I can really get up to the top and everything so shower glass is already done so I'm going to proceed with the um, this needs to go now this is really old so that can be chucked take off all the excess products on the side our um our sealant needs to be done as well like redone it's disgusting it's just it's cracked and gone really old and haggard is that even a word haggard so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray some flash bathroom all over the tiles all around the edge of the bar like so oh i just love the smell of flash bathroom very fresh and then i'm just going to run the hot tap on the bath just to wet the brush there we go right and now let's get scrubbing it's just um as i'm going around it's like angling which is good That's the telescopic part coming into action you don't always think about tiles and stuff well i don't anyway when i'm cleaning but they can get rubby and with a nice strong brush head like this i'm just going to bung these ones in here because i've run out of room on my cabinet I'm really getting to the nitty gritty. Okay, right, while that's soaking in still, I've scrubbed it obviously. I'm gonna let it soak it in before I rinse off. I'm now gonna focus my attention onto the bog. What a horrible word that is, bog. Sorry for using it. Right. I've just realised I'm gonna have to move all my stuff into the bath to be able to position the camera i really need to get a tripod a freestanding tripod why is martin sunglasses in here let's just move those out there for a second okay oh and this is the other thing i wanted to show you in morrison's the other day i got this silicone really cool flexible toilet brush because our toilet brush we currently have is minging. Um, I'm gonna use it one last time today and then I have a fresh toilet brush. But yes, I'm gonna focus on cleaning the toilet first. I don't know if I have what I think I have in here. Uh, I'll use this instead. It was basically, oh God, that's not a good lighting or angle, is it? Um, the pink stuff had this foam cleaner which you tip into the toilet bowl and then it just foams up everywhere and then once it's like risen you scrub the toilet like crazy but I've run out so I'm going to use an Astonish toilet bowl tab instead. Why am I so out of breath? So out of breath just doing little tasks. I hate this. 
pain in the bog. I don't want to do the task. I'm all gamed out. Sorry, I've had coffee. I'm a bit hyper. Right. 365 years later, I'm going to gently place that down the loo. Let it slide down so I don't get a splash back. There we go. I'm not going to show you down the loo because it needs a nice clean. And that wouldn't be very pleasant, would it? What I'm going to do now is... I do normally use flash bathroom, um, but I'm going to use this flash spray. This is the um, spray wipe done apple blossom. Uh, and I'm just going to spray this over the toilet. I need to roll my sleeves up in my nice new jumper. And then I'm around the basin which is the worst bit in my opinion Ooh. so that's all sprayed so actually i'm going to take that spray back and um, there's like a little ledge next to the toilet i'm pointing at it like you can see um just in between the shower it's disgusting it needs all the seal of needs changing in here so please bear with this is real life not everything is perfect i'm going to clean that shelf because that's where I want the new toilet brush to go. So I've actually got a pair of marigolds designated for this area. And then what I do to clean is I first use kitchen towel. And then once I've done the main bit of cleaning, I might go over with my bathroom um, microfiber wipe, which is more hygienic. But the first initial disgusting stuff, I like to use kitchen towel. So, yes, I'm going to go and get some kitchen towel and continue. much if I'm being honest so I'm going in with some Harpic Power Plus around the rim there we go let that sink in for a minute I like to keep on top of the toilet because as we know no offence to the lads out there but it doesn't always go in the toilet pan does it and then it builds up around the ceiling around the edge and you get that horrid orange stain so I do like to keep on top of it regularly get rid of any nasty any line scale I'm way too long on this video now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the rest of the stuff and then I need to hoover in here, rinse the walls down and then just go over the sink and then I need to take everything out so I can do the floor. And I just realized I haven't cleaned the kitchen floor, but that's fine, I can do that later. And I've got to listen out for my delivery. And I'm super out of breath. I've got a new one of these little toilet freshener things that's sticking on the side. And then obviously when you, every time you flush a little bit gets ejected out and keeps the toilet fresh. So I'm gonna pop that in now. There we go. Blue wipes are on the back now, all clean, the toilet. Let's give it a flush. Lovely, lovely and clean. Can't say the same for the floor at the moment. All right, using some fire cow on the taps. Just to give them a bit of shine. Should have done that on the shower, really. I will do in a sec. And then I've got a scrubby material, it's basically a cheaper version of Scrub Daddy that I'm going to use to scrub all the line scale that builds up on the sink. The amount I've actually filmed doing this is ridiculous but I will cut it down hopefully. Taps a little bit more. why do you keep your electric toothbrushes up on the cabinet when you have a cabinet they never in the cabinet 
Amazing. That plays up on the cabinet for easy reach. Right, have I got my cleaning cloth? Yes, I do. I'm going to go over the wire cow with my microfiber cloth. Like that. And then before I go over the rest of the sink, I'm going to spray some biocal on like the silver bits on the shower as well. And the taps. What I'm going to do now is I think I'm not going to rinse the walls off because the flash has kind of gone in. So I'm going to go and get my Seflora and spray the walls and then change the head attachment. There we go, it just Velcro stickies on like that. So let's get to wiping over this. Oh, lovely. What bit of the microfiber stuff's coming off? That's fine. Guys, I've done it. I couldn't film doing the floor, I just had to get on with it because. I literally go on my hands and knees to do the floor because I like to go around all the edges behind that basket etc all around these edges and like other little hairs or dust collects so I literally get on the floor and scrub that with um, either floor wipes I only have one left so I sprayed the rest of the floor with my Sephora spray and I use kitchen towel again and I've gone over it but that's where my new little toilet brush is these are actually easier to clean I've seen a little hack on um, Instagram I think it was where you stick the toilet brush under the toilet seat so it's hanging over the toilet and you can spray it spray onto it to disinfect it and leave it there to air dry which I think is brilliant why didn't I think of that before but everything's clean please ignore the products in the bath I'm just waiting for the whole bath to dry off everything's had a nice polish even this cabinet here and um, the sink's been done all the floor there and I have done the mirrors on my cabinet as well so I'm just going to put the extractor on, there we go, because I've had the hot water on so, and that might help it dry a bit better as well in here, so yeah. That is the bathroom done, I am so out of breath. I'm going to go and clean my bedroom window, uh, not window, sorry, bedroom mirror now and any other mirrors I've got around the place because I tend to do them all at the same time. I also highly recommend this um, window and glass cleaner, Eucalyptus and Lemon by Astonish. Got a lovely fresh scent, um, not that typical vinegary smell you know. So yeah, you can get this in any shop. I think I got this in either Poundland or B and M. I want to say. I'm just chilling for a bit now. I've done the bathroom, done the kitchen. I'm just waiting for the item delivery guy to get here. He's due between six and seven, so hopefully he turns up soon because I want to start cooking dinner. I just had um, some prawn cocktail what's it's the giant ones. I've not been able to get those in the store for ages, and they were on offer, so I just had a few of those. Um, and I'm actually watching um, a podcast. Scott Thomas does like podcasts, and he's got Anastasia Kings and all at the minute so i'm just watching that exclusive podcast with spotify now that's where the most that's where the success comes from if you do something you love yeah i'm just watching that i love watching these podcasts and um yeah hopefully he turns up soon and then i'll show you my iceland tour and then i can round up this vlog my order has arrived and it's all on the floor it's all the men in these like really strange large carrier bags um so that's interesting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to perch you here and just show you what I've got in my Iceland haul. And firstly I've got two boxes of corn plates because they were on offer. I think it's like two for three pounds. I didn't realise it was the massive bo boxes, I thought it was the littler ones but I'm not complaining. So I've got two of those, um, I want to make um, cornflake cakes with mini eggs so I managed to get some mini eggs earlier um, the only thing they didn't have in this shop was eggs but I managed to get well actual eggs not mini eggs sorry um, I actually managed to get some eggs earlier in Sainsbury's when I got my mini eggs I got a packet of bonbon biscuits because Martin likes these and I've got some crackers because we've got some cheeses in the fridge. Coke Zero cans because this was on offer and I do like a Coke Zero sometimes. A bar of dairy milk for my cornflake cake recipe. 
and then a nice loaf of wholemeal bread feels quite fresh and nice these are the big bags they come in got some chicken dippers looking forward to this um i've got a my protein beef bolognese um 38 grams of protein in this meal and there is 421 calories this will be for when i come home from work one day and i'm doing a workout or whatever and i'm too tired to cook so i have this in the fridge and look it's got a nice little tupperware box that i can keep and reuse afterwards probably said sorry already but sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background i then got martin and my protein meat feast pizza this has got 33 grams of protein in and this is 306 well that's good 363 calories for that whole pizza non-protein wise i've got some of the deep dish um, microwave pizzas just for a quick lunch or a quick light dinner what i've been most excited for a whole cooked chicken and um, to make wraps with have salads lunches can't wait to eat that um, i've got some little gem lettuce a cucumber as well two four pints of cravendale because these were on offer when you got two as well and i got a massive uh multi bottle of my lactose free milk that i have wow that is heavy um, a packet of wafer thin ham for sandwiches and stuff and then some mini pork pies and last but no means least it has broke out of the packaging but just some of these rolo um, dessert pots because i don't think they're too calorific 136 calories sugars are a little bit high but it'd be nice as a little treat so i'm going to put that in the recycling and just put those straight in the fridge i'm now going to put my shopping away um and then i'm going to make my hello fresh meal so i've got the ultimate pork ragu and fresh tagliatelle with mushrooms crispy bacon garlic ciabatta uh, ciabatta ciabatta and pesto so yeah i'm going to proceed to make that once i've put my shopping away i'm super hungry now so yeah that's just going to be a chilled evening for me so i think that is where i'm going to conclude the video because i have a feeling this is going to be a long one but it feels good to sort of be back um so hopefully this goes up on the following sunday after i film this and then i'll see where i go from there with filming um because i don't just want to film anything for the sake of it i want to film something that i enjoy filming so when the weather perks up i might do like nice places like on the island isle of wight where i live um and i might film my little like trip to um, the shopping center in southampton especially if i go to primark but if you are a frequent viewer please let me know down below if there's any video that i've done previously that you'd like me to do again if there's anything you'd like to see it really helps and it gives me some ideas as well because sometimes it's just hard isn't it to think of different video ideas but yes thank you so much for watching if you've got this far i really appreciate it don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you all again soon for a brand new one bye everyone